This video is going to give a short explanation about how you can try both the Omnipod 5 and the Tandem T-Slim at the same time. These are both excellent insulin delivery systems. You have the Tandem T-Slim X2, that's a pump, and the Omnipod is a tubeless pod. Many people will find benefits with both of these. I did recently do a video about the comparisons of the Omnipod 5 and the Tandem T-Slim X2. So if you're interested in that, please check that video out. I will link it over here. This video is basically just an extension of that video. Hi, my name is Jillian. I'm a stay-at-home mom with two young children. I've been living with type 1 diabetes for 32 years now. This is my diabetes lifestyle channel. In this channel, you'll get a look at how I balance my life living with a chronic illness and raising a family. So I've used both of these pumps. I started the Tandem T-Slim X2 back in 2019, and I ended up taking a break sometime last year for about nine months. I really wanted to try the Omnipod because it was tubeless and that appealed to me so much. They both have their pros and cons, so please try them out and see what you think. Let me know in the comments below what you think if you do go ahead and do a trial run. I'm really interested in who prefers the Omnipod over the T-Slim and vice versa. So since I was already on the Tandem pump, I made an appointment with my doctor, my endocrinologist, and told her I was interested in trying the Omnipod 5. She was very happy to write me a prescription for it, but obviously that prescription didn't go through. I was already on a pump, so they needed uh, to know why it was medically necessary for me to switch pumps. So I let her know I was having some difficulties with the tandem pump because it does use tubes and my children were pulling them out. I was snagging on, on a lot of things. I was a busy mom. So I wanted to go ahead and give the Omnipod 5 a try. She sent a prior authorization to my insurance company stating that I needed to switch pumps and they accepted. So it did take a couple calls to my insurance company on my end for me to explain to them what was going on. They were kind of confused, uh, but after that, it was a smooth process. It actually went by a lot faster than I expected it to. It took maybe five to seven days after they sent that prior authorization through before my pharmacy texted me letting me know my Omnipod 5 was ready to pick up. So how are we able to do this? How can we use two pumps at once? I always thought you could only be on one pump at a time. Well, here's the thing. So I started out with the tandem pump and the supplies go through DME. They are durable medical equipment. The Omnipod 5 goes through my pharmacy. My pharmacy never gets any orders for my tandem supplies. It goes, like I said, it goes through DME. It goes through Byram Medical or whatever you use. I use Byram. So I was able to keep my pump warranty active. My, pu my pump is still in warranty. My durable medical equipment company was actually still asking me if I needed supplies and I, I didn't accept them. I had a surplus of my supplies anyway, so I was sitting pretty with those. I didn't see the need to keep stockpiling them. But I was able to go ahead and get my pods refilled, no questions asked after the prior authorization went through. It was very easy. Within the last month or so, I've actually switched back to the tandem pump. You can see why in that video I was talking about. And I'm still happy I got to use the Omnipod 5. I don't have any pods left. I'm not getting them filled right now because I'm not using them. But I could if I wanted to and I changed my mind. So this is a great opportunity for diabetics that want to give each pump slash pod a try um, and not have any commitments anywhere. Like I said, my warranty never expired. I'm not committed to Omnipod 5. I've already stopped using it and I've gone back to tandem. If you are interested in these, please take advantage of this. It's a great opportunity, like I said. I now know I really love my tandem pump. It still has its faults here and there, but the Omnipod 5 was just not for me. It might be for you, so please give it a try and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching my video. I know this was very short, but I hope it gave you some useful information and you can go ahead and take advantage of this if you'd like to. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.